this is my Ace Freely black, uh, transparent black. Now I bought this in 90, 97, 98. And I thought, why well, get the one everybody's going to get, which was the uh, sunburst. Let's get this one, because then I'll be like one of the only ones that has it. That was my fit. That's what I was thinking back then. So I got this, and then when I bought a Gibson, of course, I bought the sunburst and the blue burst, but, you know, I can't pull those out without several uh, thunderheads thinking that they're uh, from China. Ugh! It's pretty clear now, isn't it? That what's from China and what isn't. I can't people. I can't believe there's people online that buy guitars from China, and they must have. Well, I know they sell them. I see them up for on eBay all the time, trying to be passed off as Gibsons, and I and I call them out on it all the time because I have two still. I I thought I had one, but I have a Explorer Checker. You know, checkered like uh, Rick Nelson, Rick Nielsen from Cheap Trick. I got that for 250 bucks. I knew what I was getting, and it came in three pieces. And they refunded my money, and I had it fixed. And it's still a piece of junk. And then another uh, guitar. I can't remember which one it is. Oh, it's an Ace Frehley. But it's it's obvious. So. I don't think I've brought it out. I think I've shown it. I showed it in in a video like ten years ago or nine years ago. So look at that one, because that's I've got that and I had a a blue burst, but that was from China and it looked horrible. It looked like silver and they got a little blue in there. I'm like that sucks. So I sold it to somebody and I got eight hundred bucks from it. I'm like, dude, it's not a real Gibson. He goes, but, but it looks like a real Gibson. It's got to be real. I'm like, okay, man. And what else did I? Oh, yeah, and the uh, I had a Zach Wild Flying V with the... Everything was in the wrong place. It was obvious. And the guy still paid me all, like 1200 bucks for it. I paid 175 200 bucks. So whatever. People are idiots. strings are also original which is not good I should actually get this guitar worked on I brought out okay so I know this they come with you know I think the Chinese ones put this out with them now but I've got the paperwork somewhere I bought it from uh, gosh I can't remember now Oh, uh, friend, uh, you know, Guitar Center bought him out, friend something, 
I bought this. I bought a bunch of Kiss stuff when they were going under. I bought the Washburn Paul Stanley. I got this. I got a bunch of stuff for really good prices. Well, this one I didn't get such a good price, but the Paul Stanley one, I got a great price on that one. And that thing's amazing. So, I'm not really going to tell any stories because uh, I don't really have time. But here's this beautiful guitar. And see, I mean, look, dude. It's not any kind of a fake. It's impossible to fake this kind of work. These are really nice guitars, man. They're very nice. I mean, the difference between this and a Gibson, I don't know what it is. Except the name. They both play incredible. Mm. Well, here, look at the back. Maybe that'll convince some people. If you can see this. It's real. It's just... I feel it's so stupid that I have to try to prove certain guitars are actually what they are, what they say they are. Like the one Epiphone that I have a Gibson sticker. I have two Epiphones that I've I blacked out Epiphone and I put a Gibson sticker on there. And hardly anybody catches it, but every once in a while somebody does. I'm like, you're right, it's not. It is a Gibson, because technically Epiphone, Gibson, you know, blah, 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 but whatever. To me, Epiphones are better. I like the neck better, because it's smaller, thinner, easier to play for me. I'm used to that. And uh, why pay the extra money? Even though I am tempted to go down to Norm's Rare Guitars and pick that black... Uh, everything that's black now, Les Paul, they call it Black Beauty. The guy's an idiot. Why does he work there? It's not called a Black Beauty unless it's got the three pickups. Like this. The black three pickup one is called a Black Beauty. Every other Black Les Paul is called a Black Les Paul. But I think they had a 74 that the guy was playing. and then he, he started off and he diddled around like an idiot for, you know, I've got this, you know, metal friggin' legend guitar that every you're you're thinking Mick Mars, Randy Rhodes, because it's a '74 custom, but Mick had a '72, but it was black. But so you're thinking, come on, let's hear this thing. And at the end, he f does a little Randy Rhodes stuff. I'm like, eh. At least he put it in there. Because the other stuff, who cares? Who cares how nice and clean it sounds? As you can tell, I don't. But like this, it's like, listen how there's no feedback. That is great.
Jeez. Okay, I got that. Damn overdrive on. All right, so that's a song, the one that I chopped off of those three. It's called Deceiver. I think I want to change the chorus. Now, the chorus is... So, it, it has gone for a long time, the way it was... Which one? Which one do you like? Which chorus? The or the other one? Right? That's another reason I pulled this guitar out, because anybody that knows anything about Kiss and Ace Freely knows where I'm getting that from. It's from Shock Me, because that's how he plays, you know, Shock Me, Shock Me, make me feel better. Is it? But how does she? Make sure that you bend up to G, otherwise it sounds like you're playing out of tune and stupid. So the only reason I I like it because it's cool and it sounds like Ace, but I don't like it because I'm gonna have to double or triple that rhythm, and I gotta hit that friggin' note every time. So, but which one do you like better? <laughs> Damn you. Or... Also, the other one ends on... One ends on A, and the other one ends on D, the bend-up one. So...
Or both. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes people watch my videos and sometimes they don't. And sometimes I like the people that actually play guitar to say something. I'm giving you a chance to help write this album, which will be done in a few months. The only reason I'm not back up there right now is because <laughs> I was real tired and I got up. I went to sleep and I realized I forgot to eat. I hadn't eaten in like two days. So I got in my car. This is like the day before I came home and you know, lost the camera and everything. But I, right across the street from the hotel was a Denny's. And it looked like there was a driveway there. So I went, bam, into the street, bottomed out, screwed up the front somehow. So if I'm driving, it's fine. But if I put on the brakes, it just blah, 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 blah. I don't want to put any money into that car because I'm buying another car. So that one's just driving around town. And even driving around town, stopping is a, it's a, there's an art to it now. Because I'm just trying not to get the wheels to wobble. Wheels wobble, but they don't fall. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. I may, I'm dating myself, right? used to throw in it. So here, look close. They are all DiMarzio Super Distortions. See, I've, you've got to dump the middle one or you'll keep hitting it. So I always put the bridge up as far as I can. And the other two cares, but the middle I dump real low. Um, now who uses that? Nobody. I'm sure somebody does, but Joe Bonham, I can't.
ace hole. All right, so there you go. Surreal. Uh, I was going to pull out the blue one with the uh, glowing pickups, so maybe I'll do that later. I just don't have time tonight. All right? So that's it. I just want your opinion on something. No stories. Okay, here's a story. Uh, I didn't realize that I was so old, but I went to go see Motley Crue at Santa Monica Civic. It was the, actually the first... Um, it's the date, the first date of the official first kickoff date of the Shout Out the Devil, Santa Monica Civic. So I get, I'm there in line for hours because it was a fest, you know, festival seating. Santa Monica Civic is like a giant floor and then some seats going up the back, which you do not want to sit in because you don't see anything. So I wanted to make sure I got up to the front, so I got there early and I was easy. I was like, six people back so you know i had like a case of beer in the bushes if you've ever I'm sure if anybody that's ever been there knows that you're sitting standing there and if you're standing in a line it usually goes out and down and around and there's bushes so you can get beer and drink or you can go in there and pee or whatever so that went on all day and then i got in but as i was going in chris holmes runs up to me so this is what 83 end of 83 beginning of 84 something can't like it. I, into the it was December I think of 83 because I just started dating my soon-to-be first wife and she flew back to yes she flew back to see her grandma that's right and I was like pissed off because I had tickets for her to go see Motley Crue which she'd never seen because she was a kid she was only 16 <laughs> and uh uh, we were going to see Molly Crew and Jerry Lee Lewis at the Palomino, which is also gone. So, you know, had tickets for both of those for us, and she had to go back for two weeks this year for Christmas. You know, what am I going to do? No! Of course. So she went back, and so as I was going in, Chris Holmes comes up. He's like, dude, get me in. I'm like, how? Magical powers? You're in. He goes, no, dude, there's a there's a side door. I go, yeah. He goes, go down there and let me in. I'm like, if you get me thrown out, I'll kill you. I go, dude, you're in Wasp. I mean, you guys are, they were pretty big. They were getting big, but they weren't, you know, signed yet at all. It was, like I said, December of 83, I think. So, yes, it had to have been. So, we got in there, and I ran over to the side door. And open it up, and there was Chris, and he came in, and he went right up backstage. Why didn't you just go into the back? So, <laughs> there's your story. I let Dingledorf Chris Holmes in to see Motley Crue, and he walks right backstage. And almost gets me thrown out in the process. Nice. So, there you go. There's your story. So, now I want comments, and I want subscriptions. And you guys are doing really good. I'm getting there slowly, very slowly, but I'm getting there. 930-something, I think. Low 30s. So let's just get this done. Just think if I got the rest of the subscriptions by the end of the year. we got a couple weeks. Come on, please, please. Ugh. What should I put for the title? I should just, I should call, I should check with the two people always. What should I put for this title? So I'll put something crazy to get you guys to watch it. But I want answers. Which one do you like better? Or which is very Ace Freely Kiss, man. I don't know. I kind of like them both. I don't know. Oh, I don't know what to do. So give me your answer. Comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. All right? Have a Merry Christmas.